up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be discussing some of my favorite affordable sustainable swaps. So before we start, I want to say I attempted to curl my hair today and I think my hair looks good. I'm not sure how I feel about it with the bangs, giving me major Farrah Fawcett vibes, but I kind of like it. Sorry if it's a little distracting. I'm, yeah, I'm still deciding how I feel about the curled bangs. I think I may have curled them wrong, but um, yeah, so sorry if my hair looks extra giant today, but we're going with it. Um, I think it's kind of fun and yeah, but if I'm playing with my hair in this video, uh, apologies in advance, cause I feel like I will be, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't frame my face as well as I would like it to, but that is okay. I'm not gonna let it distract from this video. So the first thing that we are going to be talking about is probably the most fun out of all of these sustainable swaps. Most of them are items in your home, but I have partnered with Ana Luisa, which is a sustainable jewelry company. I'm wearing two of their necklaces right now and a pair of their earrings, and I'm so excited about this partnership. I've been wearing their jewelry for about six months now, and I absolutely love it. This necklace down here is my absolute favorite. I wear it pretty much every single day, and then this is a new one. They are having their biggest sale of the year right now for the holidays. Buy one, get one 40% off. And if you spend over $150, you get a free travel case, which is so cute. It's like a little green velvet, little um, circular traveling case. I want one so bad, they're so cute. And I actually just placed an order for some Christmas gifts for my friends and family. So I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the travel case for myself because it is just the cutest ever. The biggest thing that really sold me on working with this brand in the first place is their sustainability missions. All of their jewelry is made of recycled gold, which I think is so fantastic. And it also reduces the price point. So it's a much more affordable option than some other designer price points um, without sacrificing any of the quality or the look of the product. I absolutely love this jewelry. It is so nice and dainty without being too simple. Like it's not just a gold chain. They have so many cute little pendants and designs and most of the jewelry is gold. They do have some silver options and then there also are some like colored pieces of jewelry. They have these super cute gold earrings with like a blue white kind of like tie dye pattern. They're so cute. So this necklace that I have on right here, I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer. So this necklace is the Rosa necklace. It's like a nice little um, diamond plated moon, with a little crystal on the side. And then this other necklace that I'm wearing that I wear pretty much every day is called the Sylvia necklace. It actually is a set. I just took them apart. I mean, they are separate necklaces, but um, I wear this one as its own, but it does come with a cute other little pendant that matches perfectly and then I have on the Riviera earrings I absolutely love these I wear them every single day and I most of the time sleep in them and they don't bother me at all even though they are dangly earrings I do take my jewelry off when I shower but I don't like to take it off before I go to bed because the next morning I usually forget to put it back on so if I just sleep in it it's all fine but I've never had an issue with these necklaces tangling even when I wear them layered like this which most days I am wearing them layered so I absolutely love these so very much so this Sylvia necklace that comes as a set with another little pendant necklace is $99 these earrings are 75 and this Rosa necklace is $50 so if you guys shop this sale you will be getting the buy one get one 40% off plus the free travel case if you end up spending $150 I absolutely love these pieces everything is starting at $39 so it really is an affordable option for the holiday season whether it is for you or for a loved one I highly recommend and I truly don't wear any other jewelry at the moment I have some really cute rings from them as well I just have them at my parents house so I can't show you right at this very moment but I love their jewelry. Um, I purchased some myself as well, and I can highly, highly recommend it to anyone shopping for some jewelry this holiday season. You guys don't wanna miss out on their sale. It is the biggest of the year. So that is my first sustainable swap. Picking some more affordable and sustainable jewelry to add to your collection is the way to go this holiday season. If you guys are interested in shopping this sale, whether it's for yourself or for gifts for someone else, or you can mix and match and do a little bit of shopping for both, I will have a link that you guys can shop. Directly supports me and my relationship with the brand and allows me to keep working with them. And before we jump into the other products, I just kind of want to give a little disclaimer because all of these things I'm showing you, I bought new when I moved into my apartment but something that I really, really wanna make a point of in this video is the most sustainable option is to use what you already have. So as I'm showing you these items, if you have something that functions as the same thing now, use it until 
it's time to throw it away like until you've used it up um, or it's bad. I don't really know what the proper term is um, that is collectively applying to all of these items, but the most sustainable option is to use what you already have and use it up before you buy anything new. That's just my little disclaimer that I want to throw in there. I don't want to make you feel like you have to go out and buy any of these things. I just wanted to share this video because these are some swaps I've made when I moved into my new apartment and some more eco-friendly purchases I have made just to be a bit more sustainable and mindful about where my money is going and how it's serving me and the planet in the future so please don't feel like you have to go buy any of these things i will leave links down below if you are interested but always remember that the most sustainable option is to use what you already have before going to spend your money on anything else so this first one might seem a little bit odd but i did also want to share another company that i've been working with that has a great sustainability mission and that is vita 5 so these are some really oh my goodness these are some really fun little vitamin gummies. Um, I love them because I'm not really great at taking my vitamins because I don't like to swallow pills or like little tablets, but these actually are little gummies. They look like little candies, which I absolutely love. And they come in these nice little pouches. And on the back here, it shows um, their little eco-conscious mission. And that is that these little pouches use 80% less plastic than your typical vitamin bottles, which I was blown away by when this company first reached out to me because I never really thought about the fact that my vitamins come in, in big plastic bottles. And I never really thought to myself how frequently I was throwing those away and how much packaging it really was. So I absolutely love these and they make making taking your vitamins super great. Another thing to mention is they do not use any gelatin. So these are vegetarian. They taste delicious. This is the collagen one. These are my favorites. And then we've got apple cider vinegar and elderberry for immunity. I also take the melatonin gummies when I'm having trouble sleeping, but 10 out of 10 recommend these. I will leave my link and discount code down below for these as well if you are interested, but there's my first sustainable swap reducing your plastic packaging with your vitamins okay the next sustainable swap might seem like a silly one but it has saved me so much money and I'm no longer throwing my razors away like every month so it is one of these safety razors single blade safety razors it twists open like this and you've got one little blade and you just replace these so instead of throwing away a big plastic razor every month or so however long it takes you to go through a razor depending on how often you shave you've got one of these little guys and then you just pop the blade on I got this for tar at Target for maybe $15 I will leave a link down below to this specific one but it came with with five blades I'm on my second one and it is fantastic it is a bit smaller than your typical razor and these blades are very very sharp the first time I shaved with one of these I did cut myself um, so please be careful but these are fantastic they have saved me so much money and I'm no longer throwing away razors women's razors are so expensive I did get this in the men's section um, the brand is Vanderhagen um, but I cannot recommend this enough. I get the cleanest shave ever and my hair does grow back slower in my opinion and experience. Um, but I absolutely love this little guy. I've only switched the blade once. I think I already said that, but I still have three more left after this one and they've last, the blade has lasted me like over a month. As long as you like rinse it out and make sure you're keeping it clean in the shower. Um, I haven't had any issues with it like rusting or crusting or anything like that. Think about how much money you spend every time you go to buy like a new head for your little um, Venus razor. They're so expensive and the like handle plastic um, razor handle like the razor itself is like another $15. So get one of these. This will last me forever. This might seem like a silly swap to you but give it a try and I think you might like it. Okay, next swap is another kind of like personal hygiene uh, product, but a bamboo toothbrush. Mine is kind of old, so it's got like the white toothpaste stains on it, but I got this um, when I purchased some teeth whitening strips from Luminu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, for, I used to say Luminex and then my sister yelled at me because she told me that it was Luminu. So don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but they have like all sorts of all natural teeth whitening products. I used their toothpaste and I loved it. I love their teeth whitening strips. I've actually ran out, so I haven't used them in a while, but 
bamboo toothbrushes in general you don't have to get them from this company i'm pretty sure that they sell them at trader joe's but they're so much better than your typical plastic ones because this is literally just bamboo wood and then the bristles and so it's a little bit more eco conscious and eco friendly when you do throw these away i've also seen people like repurpose these and stuff on tiktok and facebook so if you do have one of these and you don't want to throw it away maybe look something up on pinterest or facebook as how as to how you can repurpose these for something else in your life but bamboo toothbrush is better than a plastic toothbrush okay next swap might seem like an obvious one and i know it's almost 2021 so we should all be doing this anyways but a reusable water bottle this is my hydro flask she's got stickers all over her this one is peeling off and it's making me really sad because it's my favorite it says give me space and i got it in utah and i'm really sad I also dropped this yesterday, so the dents on the top are only multiplying, but this is a, I believe this is a 42 ounce water bottle. Let me see, does it say? Oh, 40 ounce Hydro Flask. I used to have the 32 ounce one. I much prefer this one and it still fits in all my bags. It's not that much bigger, but it does make drinking more water a bit easier. But a reusable water bottle, you do not have to buy a Hydro Flask, although I do think that they make great Christmas gifts. Um, or birthday gifts. I buy like everyone I know a hydro flask for a gift if they don't have one because I think everyone should be using reusable water bottles. Not only are plastic waters water bottles not good for the environment, they're not really that great for your health if you continually refill them because over time that plastic breaks down and then you're ingesting it. Reusable water bottle is an absolute must. Not only save a ton of money by not like purchasing single use water bottles all the time, but you're not letting them pile up in your car or in your bedroom or anything like that. They're super easy to clean. This one has um, a straw and the lid just pops up like this so you can drink out of it. I swear by a hydro flask. They keep your water cold all day. But again, you don't have to get a hydro flask. They are a tiny bit pricey, but I know you can go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they have similar like insulated um, reusable water bottles that are absolutely fantastic. Okay, next sustainable swap is reusable grocery bags. So I got these super fun colored ones on Etsy and I know that they look small, but they really do like stretch and you can fit so much in here. I have carried like a good 10 pounds of produce in one of these and they held up really, really well. I absolutely love these. I think they're adorable, but you can get any other kind at like your local grocery store. Most places sell reusable bags and they save so much plastic. I typically take one of these into the, I mean, I take these into the grocery store with me anyways, but I put one in my cart and like open it up and I just drop all my produce in there. So when I go up to the checkout, they can just take the produce out of one of these bags and I don't use the little plastic plastic bags that are usually on those little rolls like right in the produce section. I absolutely love these. I got these on Etsy. I have a couple other in my closet that I love and I keep one in my car. I try to remember to take these with me, but sometimes I forget. So I find keeping one in my car is super duper helpful. Um, one thing to be mindful of with these guys is especially like uh, given the state of the world, a lot of places won't let you bring in reusable bags. So double check with your grocery store. Here in Ohio, they've started to let us bring them, but you have to bag your own groceries, which I have no problem doing. These reusable grocery bags are so, so fantastic and really reduce your plastic usage. This is one thing that my parents have always done ever since I was little. We've always had reusable grocery bags um, because my dad is really into saving the planet and being eco-friendly and conscious. So I highly recommend these. I will link the Etsy shop down below, but you guys can just see how much this one has stretched. Like, I don't know if I've ever used this one. I literally just pulled it out of my closet. I use this one all the time. Um, and they stretch so much and they hold so well and I've had no issues with like the netting coming apart or holes or snags or anything like that. So I'm really, really enjoying these reusable grocery bags. But like I said, you guys can get any of them at your local grocery store. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, they're always selling them by the checkout counter. And just please make sure that if you do get like a plastic one, these can go in the wash, but if you get a plastic one, please make sure to wipe it down with like um, a Clorox wipe or something before you take it in the grocery store, just so you can ensure you're being as sanitary as possible. But these reusable grocery grocery bags are a fantastic sustainable swap to have. Okay, one of my last swaps is kind of a weird one, but I've absolutely been loving them and they are these bamboo dish cleaners, dish, I don't even know. I use these to clean my dishes. Um, 
and I got these on Etsy. The, the brand is Greenly, and I've absolutely been loving these. They clean my dishes so well. This one in particular is kind of weird, but it cleans out my water bottle so well and like my smoothie cup and stuff because it's rounded at the bottom so you can really get into like the rounded edges of glasses and cups and water bottles and stuff like that. Love this one. These were not very expensive at all. They did, oh my goodness. They did take a little bit of time to come in the mail, but now that I have them, I use them every single day. I don't use any of those little sponges anymore because one, they're really wasteful. Like you can really only use them for a couple weeks until they're like worn out. And also um, I found that the like little bits and pieces of the sponge would wear off and like get in my water like in my sink and would obviously go down the drain and it's really not a great thing to be doing all the time so I highly recommend these little bamboo uh dish cleaners I don't even know what to call this uh dish cleaning utensils Somebody leave a comment down below. I don't know what these are called, but I will link them in the description box. Um, another really great option that is super sustainable for cleaning your dishes are one of those little like steel wool metal, uh, I don't even know what to call them. They look like little metal sponges almost. And those are incredibly sustainable. You could literally use one for years and years and years because they don't break down. And to clean them out, all you have to do is run some hot water over them. That's what my parents use. And I think we've had one for like two or three years and never had to switch it out because again, they don't wear down and they really, really clean your pans. Just be careful using them on like non-stick items because you don't want to like scratch. I mean, you can still clean with them. You just can't be super aggressive because it will scratch off like that coating on your pans. But these are absolutely fantastic and I love them so very much. I think they're a great sustainable swap, especially if you're planning to like move into your own place and you want to get a nice little, they're so cute. Like, oh, I just love them. And they came in a little cute box and yeah, they're just fantastic. And I highly recommend these little guys to clean your dishes. Okay, I was gonna show you one more thing, but I just went and looked and they're all dirty and I don't really have a lot of sunlight left to film this video, so I'm not gonna pull them out. But I think they're probably the most obvious sustainable swap you could make and that is reusable straws. I will link the ones that I use down below, but you can literally get them anywhere, Walmart, Target, anywhere that you shop for any sort of like kitchen item you can find reusable straws i promise you you can get glass ones i'm afraid i'm going to break them so i personally use metal ones but reusable straws are fantastic on my christmas list this year i asked for like a retractable one so i can put it in my bag and take it with me like when i go out to eat or anything like that um but please try if anything just get some reusable straws they're super easy to find very very affordable really easy to clean if you get one of the little like pipe cleaner thingy they're not real pipe cleaners they're for the um straws but they're super super easy to clean and i've never had any issues with mine i highly recommend them that is my last sustainable swap Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to me gab about my favorite sustainable swaps. Don't forget, I am going to put a link for these pieces down in the description box and they are having their biggest sale of the year. So if you're interested, now would be a perfect time to check them out and start building a sustainable jewelry collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something or got some ideas. Please drop any other sustainable swaps that you guys love and swear by in the comment section below. It's something I'm really trying to work on and and as I use up the things that I already have, I would love to purchase some more sustainable options in the future. So any suggestions you guys have are so, so very appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.